Hey, room six. I never thought I'd be making a graduation video from my library, but here we are. And I know these are difficult times, but we have made the best of it in room six. And I want to make sure that we acknowledge our aides and our graduates this year. And I just want to give a special shout out to all of our aides. They are the backbone of our classroom. Uh, they did not stop even even though we were using a completely different platform that we typically use, an online platform, but they stepped up and I am proud of them. And I wanna thank them personally, Angie and Chris and Claudia and Perul and Jackie and Miss O and Roberto. Thank you guys so much for being there, for our students, for being there, for Heather and I. We, we appreciate you and uh, we just thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I also wanted to acknowledge our five graduates that we have moving on this year. Uh, we have Tess, Zoe, Peter, Priscilla, and Andrea. To Tess, I just want to say it was a pleasure working with you this year. I wish we had more time to spend with you, but you stepped up and you became a phenomenal a student in our class. You were one of our best workers at the cafeteria. You knew what to do and you became a great leader there. And thank you for showing our other students what to do. To Zoe, I know Miss Claudia is gonna miss you tremendously. Uh, you've been with her a while and you're always coming into the classroom ready to work and always tackle new tasks. To Peter, we are going to miss your drawings, buddy. We are gonna, you've come such a long way and the fact that you became independent on the bus and independent at work was just phenomenal. To Priscilla, thank you for always coming in ready to work and always being willing to tackle new tasks. Uh, to Andrea, you, uh, thank you for your smile every day in the morning and thank you for acknowledging everybody and making sure everybody was included in, in everything. I know Ms. Pearl is going to miss you tremendously and you are a star at the Nutrition Center. But I also want to let you guys know that once you were a part of Room 6, you are always a part of Room 6. And if you guys have anything that you need, please call on us and let us know. Thank you. Hello, graduates of Room 6. We are all so proud of what you have learned in your time in the ACT program, and we are all going to miss you. Andrea, I will miss hearing about all your fun family vacations and receiving your hugs and greetings when I come into work in the morning. Zoe, I will miss your stylish outfits and making sure there's chicken on the menu before we visit any restaurants. Tess, even though we had a short time together, I'm glad we got to go to Cal State Long Beach together on Wednesdays to get to know you a little more. Our conversations were great. You're smart, funny, and a great artist. Priscilla, you've really opened up to me during this past year. I enjoyed your stories and getting to know you and your family a little better. Peter, I will miss all your artwork and I am so proud of you becoming independent on the bus and at the job site. I know you will all do your best on your new journey and I wish you luck. Congratulations. Hello graduates, it's Miss Chris. I just want to say, congratulations! Yay! You did it! It has been a joy having you in our class and a greater joy to have, been, have works with some of you at job sites. You are all great workers and you should be very proud of yourselves. You have all matured in the last four years. You will be greatly missed. But I know a great adventure lies ahead for each of you. And whatever it is you do, I know you will all be successful at. Peter, I will miss you, your humor and your, especially your artwork. Keep it up, buddy. Zoe, I will miss your pretty smile and your dancing. Stay sweet. Andrea, I will miss your good mornings to me when you arrived at school after getting off the bus. You always brighten my day with your sweet smile and your sweetness. Tess, I will miss your laughing and your beautiful coloring in your book. Priscilla, I will miss your smile and your helpfulness. To all the graduates, congratulations and good luck. 
Hey graduates, it's Miss O and we're so excited for you and we are so proud of you. Peter, I, I enjoyed going to Cesar Chavez with you so much and making our yogurt parfaits. And you are now taking the bus there by yourself and to and from work and you're so independent, so proud of you. And please, please keep doing your amazing artwork. You are so gifted and don't ever stop doing that. Andrea, I just got to know you this year and you are so bright and so friendly and so much fun to have around and we're so excited to see what you do in the in the future and please keep in touch and let us know what you're up to. Tess, we go way back to when your brother Kyle was playing Little League with my son Christian and you and Sophia would have fun in the bleachers and now you've grown into this beautiful young woman who's going to do amazing things and we can't wait to see what those things are. And Zoe, who has the most beautiful smile to light up any room. You're so beautiful and so sweet and you don't say much, but when you do, it's very, very special. And girl, keep on dancing because you are so gifted and we can't wait to see what you do with that. And then there's my Priscilla. Priscilla, we go way, way back to Cabrillo and we've shared some really special times. And I will so miss hearing about Disneyland and you decorating your house for every occasion. So please keep in touch. Let me know what you're doing. Come and visit. And we're so proud of you guys. Go forth and do amazing things. And we love you all. Mwah! Hello graduates, this is Miss Perul, wishing you the best. I wanted to talk about each one of you. Peter, you are the best artist I have ever seen. Please keep up the good work. Andrea, you are the sweetest and the best worker with me in the nutrition center. Zoe, I love your smiles. I love your curls. And I see how you wait for me to come and say hello to you every day. Tess, you are the sweetest and you like to show me your nails every day with the different colors. And Priscilla, you are the quietest and the calmest of the helper we could ever have in our class. We are proud of all of you and we'll hope to keep in touch with you guys. Have a good graduation. Hello, adult community transition program graduates of the class of 2020. We are very honored to celebrate you here today on this great achievement. Thank you for your hard work, dedication and commitment to all your job sites and to learning new skills and abilities that will help you become important people in your communities. Marshalls, Holmes Elementary, Cesar Chavez Elementary, Grocery Outlet, and the LBUSD Nutrition Center is very grateful for everything that you did while you were there training to be great hard workers. Peter, never change my man. You are talented and you have the most amazing sense of humor and you're a true gentleman. Andrea, Thank you for joining us in room six this year. You are very inquisitive and you are very hardworking. Keep it up because you're going to be an important member of your society. Zoe, thank you for the beautiful smiles that gave us sunshine and happiness daily. You were so respectful and such a hard worker. Priscilla, you're my silent warrior. I know that you all you will always shine like a rising star because you are very smart and it showed through your classwork and assignments. And Tess, even though you were only part of us for such a short time, you became an important part of our room. Thank you. And to all our parents, thank you so much for being our pillar, for always giving us that support that we needed to overcome so many challenges as educators. Thank you for your dedication to our purpose. Thank you for your donations when we needed the most. And thank you for just caring for us. 
with all that said, I wish everybody the best in your future. Congratulations, class of 2020. And for the last time, Roberto says, I love you guys.